Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 15. And in this tutorial, I am gonna show you guys something that is so, so useful. And uh, yeah, if you guys um, are used to simply just building websites in HTML and CSS and you haven't actually built a language or built a website using uh, a server-side language like PHP, uh, then this trick is gonna absolutely blow your mind. But basically what we're gonna do is take this header this, all of this code for this header. So, um, I mean, if I take a look at this in my text editor, here I've got all my files open. Um, yeah, all of this code from the start of the header all the way down to the end of the header can be simplified into just one line of code. And it means that we can take that one line of code and put it on different uh, pages and our header will always update um, and be the same across all pages, which obviously is very, very useful because if we take a look at our website right now, we've got a home page, about us page, services, and contact. And if I, I were to ever, you know, go over to the about page, um, normally what you would do with um, uh, HTML is you'd have to take all of this code, uh, copy that over to the about page, and then if you wanted to change something in the header, you'd have to come over to index.php, change the header, go over to the about page in another file, change the header. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you have like 100 pages, that can be really, really frustrating and really, really annoying. It also means that you might miss one or two pages. Um, but yeah, the way I wanna show you guys how to do this, it's all gonna be one line of code. Uh, so let's actually get started. But before we get started, I just want to show you guys pretty much where your header should be at this point in time. So uh, basically we've got a header that looks kind of like this. And if I right click and inspect element, um, our website header is also responsive. So now we just have a logo and the navigation is off canvas. So if I click on this a little um, toggle button, uh, we now show our navigation or hide and show our navigation. So uh, if you guys don't have this code or if for some reason your code is not working the same as mine, you can always go over to patreon.com slash quins and what. Uh, and yeah, if you take a look at some of the posts that I'm posting here, you will be able to download the code for these tutorials. Um, you are gonna have to pledge $1 to download the code, but um, yeah, uh, it is going towards helping me. It is going towards helping fund my videos. So if you guys do wanna help me make more of these videos and you uh, do wanna encourage uh, free learning for everybody else, then that $1 really isn't uh, that much uh, to pledge. So now let's get started on actually uh, simplifying all of this code down to one line. And the first thing I wanna do is go over to my htdocs directory or my htdocs folder here. I'm gonna right click and create a new folder and we're gonna call this includes. And I suppose you could call it anything you want, although includes kind of makes sense for this because we're gonna be including files. And uh, what I'd like to do now is create a new file and we can save this as header.inc.php. Now, the first part of this uh, name is absolutely meaningless. I mean, you could call it anything you wanted. You could call it color, right? But uh, the reason why I've decided to go or call it header.inc.php is because that name kind of makes sense. Uh, so it has to be a PHP file, of course, uh, but header.inc just tells me that this is our header and it is an include, because .inc stands for includes. Uh, so that is just my naming convention, but if you don't wanna stick to that naming convention, you can always change to something else. Now let's hit save. And uh, yeah, now we have uh, our header.ink.php file here, but it is absolutely empty. So what I'd like to do is go over to, to my index file and let's copy all of the code, uh, basically from the start header tag all the way down to the end header tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command X. That's gonna copy all of that and paste that into my header file. Uh, and I think what I'd like to do here is just fix the indenting a little bit. So if you guys don't know how to indent in Sublime, all I'm doing is holding down Command. If you're on Windows, you're probably gonna be holding down Control. And then you wanna hit uh, the square brackets. So one square bracket goes one way and the other square bracket goes uh, the other way. Okay, um, let's just 
fix that. Okay, so now we have our header kind of set up in this file. Now we can go over to our index file and just uh, add in one line of code. So what I'd like to do is add in some PHP tags and then I'm going to inside of this type the word include and then we're gonna add in some quotation marks and uh, yeah, what I'd like to do now is type in the name of my folder that I created, which is includes. So let's type in includes, uh, and then we'll add in a slash, and then we're gonna name the, or type in the name of our file, which in this case is header.inc.php, or whatever you named your file, right? So now let's hit save and, uh, okay, it looks like something is not right with my code. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's just add in that little space. Um, right, uh, so now that should have included our header onto our page. So if I come back over to Google Chrome and uh, let's take a look at our website and hit refresh, absolutely nothing should change. That is a good thing. It means that if nothing has changed, that our header has successfully been included using this line of code. If we take that line of code out, save this and come back over to the browser and refresh, we should have uh, no header. Um, so let's go back here and save this. Uh, and what I'd like to do now is just show you guys a little bit more where this is useful because if uh, you can see this, uh, this other block that I've created here, if I just change this to have an H1 inside of it and I type the word home, um, and then I create another new file over here. So let's create about.php. Well, actually let's hit Command S and save this as about.php, right? Uh, I can now take all of this code, paste it on about.php, but without the uh, all of the header code. And now we can just change the content on the page. So we can change something like um, the, uh, content on the page to say about instead of uh, home. And if we save this now and go back over to the browser, uh, if I refresh the home page, we should now have the text home and our menu. And if I change my URL to be about.php, we should now have the text about and our menu. But it does mean that if I ever change my menu, I don't have to go over to the index file, change the menu, go over to the about page, change the menu. All I need to do is go over to my header.php file and I can change something like, let's say I wanted this link to say contact us instead of contact. And I wanted this one as well to say contact us instead of contact. Well, then I can go ahead and do that and if I jump back over to the browser and refresh, you can see that now we've got contact us on the home, uh, I mean on the about page. And if we go over to the home page, let's just uh, <laughs> modify our URL there. Now we're on the home page and it still says contact us in the menu. So any change you make to uh, this header.php file is going to change the menu on all of the pages at one time. And that is pretty awesome because now it means that we can go over to our index.php file and there's a few other things that we can simplify down to one line of code as well. Uh, so basically in uh, includes.php, let's create a new file here and let's call this, uh, or let's save it and call this head.inc.php. Um, and yeah, header will be the website's header, but head.php is going to be all of the stuff from the head of our document. Um, so basically we can copy and paste all of this stuff uh, into this file, right? And then essentially do the same thing here. So let's create another PHP tag and say include, and then we'll include uh, includes head.inc.php um, and we just gotta make sure I end off that PHP tag, right? Um, and I can do the exact same thing uh, to where's the about page. We can simplify all of this down to that one line and then we can do the same thing for our script tags as well. So let's go over to includes, create a new file 
and let's let's actually call this uh, footer.php. So I'm going to hit Command S and let's save this as footer.php or footer.inc.php. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying let's call it footer.php is because when we go get to building our footer later on, uh, we can uh, basically just build our footer inside of this footer file along with the script tags over here. So let's paste all of those in. Um, and I think I'll just leave a note over here to say footer will go here in future, right? And now we can essentially take that exact same code here, paste it, and instead of including header.php, let's include footer.inc.php. And I can take this same line of uh, code and put it on the about page as well. And so now what it means is anytime I change something in this head file, it will change across all of the pages on our site. Anytime I change something in this header.php file, that's gonna change the header. And anytime I change the footer, that's gonna change the footer in all of the pages across our site. But um, we can always have different content in this section or in the content section of our website. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, and yeah, it's gonna save us a lot. It's gonna save us so much time in future. Um, and before we end off this tutorial, let's just make sure that everything works because uh, I kind of just ended off this video without actually checking all of that stuff. And I, I see that I've broken my website over here a little bit. But um, basically just make sure that you've got semicolons in the end of all of these lines so over here as well. By the way, um, for some reason, the text isn't changing color here in my about.php. I think this is just a problem with sublime text. My code is correct. Um, I think Sublime Text for some reason uh, just doesn't want to uh, change the actual coloring of, of this code to look kind of like this. Um, and that must be just a Sublime issue, right? But uh, make sure that all of this is exactly the same as your uh, homepage. And then make sure that you've saved all of your files. So basically over here, you can see I've got this little bit of a dot instead of a, an, an X over there. And that's because I haven't saved my file. So let's hit save. And now uh, if I go back over to my browser and refresh, there we go. I now have my header on the um, about page or on the home page and everything is sorted. And if I change this to about.php, whoops, I hit <laughs> command S. Uh, I also have my header over here and everything is pretty much set up and sorted as well. Uh, and yeah, that is all I have for you guys in this video. But before I end this video off, I wanna send a huge shout out to my patrons. So all of these guys whose names are on screen now contribute $5 or more every single month on Patreon. And that goes a long way to helping me make more videos for you guys more often. So if you like the videos I create and you wanna help me make more videos, go ahead and uh, become a patron. And if you cannot pledge any money, then don't worry, uh, just, leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment on this video and share it with your friends because all of that stuff is going to help my channel grow as well. And I'll see you guys next time.